Good morning, everybody. Let's see the implementation of a priori algorithm in Python. The implementation steps are as follows. First, install the package a priori. Second, import all the record libraries. Third, load the transaction. Fourth, convert the transaction into list of lists. Fifth, build the actual a priori model. For building the a priori model, call the function a priori with the following five parameters. First parameter is the transaction as a list. So next to four parameters are minimum support value, minimum confidence value, minimum lift value and minimum length value. For my implementation, I have taken this data set with 22 rows and 7 columns. Let's see the code. First, I have copied the data set into Jupyter Notebook as book1.csv file. So my transaction is available as a book1.csv. This is the first statement I have executed to install the package a priori. Using these two statements, I have imported pandas as pd and I successfully imported a priori from a priori. API package. Using this statement, I loaded the transaction into the Jupyter notebook using the function read CSV file, read CSV function which is available in Pandas. This statement prints all the records in the transaction. Now, this is the output of the print statement. It is printing all the row, 22 rows and 7 columns. Next, Using this statement, book underscore data of save, save function, save, you can be able to know the number of rows and columns. Now, how many rows and how many columns? 22 rows. This is the output, 22 rows and 7 columns. This part of the code which converts the transaction which is as a data frame into list of list. First, this is the first statement. Uh, it creates the empty list with the name transaction. For i in the range 0 to 21, why? 22 rows are that. So, first initially i takes the value 0. So, this statement appends the value book underscore data dot values of i comma j. So, i has the value 0 and what is the value of j? j ranges uh, from 0 to 6. So, 0 represents first row all the 7 elements. Is It is appended at a list into the transaction list. Next, i ranges the i incremented by 1, i value is 1. So, second row, so i comma j, j ranges from 0. Second row, all the 7 elements are converted into the list that is appended to the transaction list. Now, if you print the transaction, this is the output of the print statement. So, first row, first row is a list that is appended to the transaction list. This is the second row as a list that is appended to the transaction list and so on. It is appending all the rows as a list. So, finally, you will be getting list of lists as a in a transaction. Using this statement, uh, successfully fill the a priori model. A priori, how to call the function a priori with the fun first parameter as a transaction with a minimum support value 0 0.3, confidence value 0 0.4 and lift value 1.2. Now, this statement, it is giving all the possible association rules that is with a uh, minimum support value 0 0.3, confidence value 0 0.4 and lift value 1.2. Using this statement, I have successfully converted all the rules in the list. So, final list of rules are available in final underscore result. This, if you print a print a length of final uh, underscore result, it is printing a number of association rules. Actually, how many rules are there? Six association rules are there. Using this set of statement, you can print all the association rules. For i in the range, len of final result. Range is a function that ranges from 0 to len minus 1. So, first it is printing rule 0. Next, it is printing rule 1 and so on rule 5. So, 0 to 5, 6 rules it is printing. This is the output of the print statement which prints all the 6 rules. In the next video, we will see how to interpret these rules. Thank you.